Hi, I'm Peter Malnati, and I'm going to show you a tip that helped me get to the PGA Tour. Have you ever faced a tee shot where driver probably is a little too much? It's going to go a little too far, but you feel like if you hit your three wood, you're going to be laying too far back and leave yourself with a difficult approach? Well, that happens to me quite a bit. And I like to be really aggressive off the tee, so my first instinct is to try to grab that driver. But sometimes if the fairway just narrows a little too much or a full driver is going to get me through a dog leg and into some trouble, here's something that I like to do so I can still hit the big dog. I take the ball and instead of teeing it up at a normal height, which for me, you know, a normal height would be about there with about three quarters of the ball up above the driver, I'm going to take it and instead I'm going to tee it so that it's just barely off the ground. Then I set the driver down behind it. You can see that the whole ball is below the driver head. What that's going to do, instead of hitting it up here in the hot, sweet spot of the driver, I'm going to make my normal swing. I'm not going to change anything. And I'm going to hit the ball more down here, and the ball is going to come off with just a little bit more spin and a little bit less speed. So it's still going to go a lot farther than three wood, and I'm still going to feel like I'm being good and aggressive off the tee. But the ball is going to come down somewhere between a three wood distance and a driver distance, which is perfect on some of these dog leg par fours we play. I'm going to show you. Yep. Without changing anything about my swing or technique, I've basically added a new club to my golf bag, something right between a driver and a three wood.